Good morning, YouTube. Quick video. I'm in the shop here. It's early. I like to get here early because I like to, you know, get ready for the day. But I want to make a video on why I don't take walk-ins anymore. Um, and someone might comment and say in whatever they believe, and that's fine. This is my belief system, and I just want to share it with you. Why do I not take walk-ins anymore? Unless, you know... Unless they literally walk right in and I'm sitting around doing nothing, but that never happens. I'm not going to turn away somebody, but why I don't take walk-ins and I don't even book appointments for people that walk in. So one thing about walk-ins is it's people that don't really value getting their hair cut. Okay. In my last video, I talked about valuing your time. So some people just need a haircut now, right? And wherever they happen to be driving through, they just stop and run in. And they're never going to change. Okay, that's their habits. That's how they get a haircut is the first place that'll take them. Another thing is people that don't prioritize their haircuts generally have longer hair and have longer haircut intervals. Okay, so it's more work, right? This guy hasn't gotten a haircut in seven months. So... To him, it's just a haircut. To you, it's an hour-long project of someone that's never going to come back. Okay? They're probably not going to come back. Another thing I've noticed is I have a shop right on the main street of our, my city. I get a lot of people that just walk in, and they go, Hey, do you take walk-ins? If we can't get them right then and there with one of the barbers that are here, I generally tell them that I'm sorry we're full for the day, and I send them to the next shop down the street because I, if I book them an appointment, they're probably not going to come back tomorrow. They want it now. So value your time. I would rather, you know, have that spot open for one of my customers that uses my online booking system than give it away to some guy that's going to be hitting the strip and looking at, because we have several barbershops in this area. It's like barbershop row. So they'll come here first because I'm the first one. Then they'll go to the next one. They'll go to the next one. So I don't waste my time with booking people that walk in and I do not want walk-ins right now. I want to work on referrals and my existing customers. That's it. Because I've said this in my videos before, your referral customers are going to come in your chair and they already have a, they already have heard good things and they like the haircuts that you do because they asked their brother or their friend or whoever who cut your hair. So referrals family members of your current customers, friends of your current customers, coworkers of your current customers. That's your target audience. Okay? Because when the coworkers talk you up or the 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 uncle talks you up and then his nephew comes in and gets a cut, he's already going to be happy to come check you out. Walk-ins come in, they don't trust you. They don't trust you cutting their hair. They're going to be picking at it. And I don't need to be doing that anymore i'm an accomplished barber so i'm not going to waste my time trying to prove my worth to a walk-in who doesn't value my services so i'm not you know not trying to come across as arrogant but um you know one of the things that i find important is just work on your appointments now if you're not fully booked then this really doesn't apply to you you know but uh if you're fully booked and you're booked up all the time, you know, you don't need to be wasting your time with those kind of people. Take care of your regulars. Take care of the people that value your time, that go on your website and book. The ones that don't call the shop, unless you only book through the phone, that's fine, but I do online booking. The customers that make my job easier, they get priority. That's how I'm able to run my shop without a receptionist. The phone only rings two or three times a day, and I'm booked up two weeks in advance. So we want to maximize our time by not being on the phone, not dealing with people. Today, I, I'm going to lock my door. It's Saturday. I'm going to lock the door and I put a sign, no walk-ins. And I don't want to even talk to them because I have my regulars that I like that are coming in today. And I want to hang out with them, talk with them. And I don't want to interrupt their haircut. So I hope that helps you out. And, uh, you know. If you want to subscribe, because I'm going to keep putting this video and putting this information out there. But I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.